Okay guys, it's 2556. I'm going to show you guys on how to make the 48 show rotator. Sorry for the last video, my mic was kind of messed up, so it is kind of hard to hear me on the last video. So I'll try and talk a little bit louder on this one. Okay, so what you're going to do is just set up a random stage here, just to show you how to put it together. Alright, what you're going to do is you are going to first, ah, this one here. Okay, find your center of wherever you're going to end up building it at. Put that down first, the single block, and then I'm going to go to the free stem swivel. Put that on top. Make sure it's centered. Okay, then I'm going to put the wood filler, tallest one, right there. Nope, didn't get it centered. Let me fix this real quick. Yep, I got flying all of it turned on. <laughs> Easier. Especially around here flying to all the islands and stuff. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to build a second one of those for a measuring tool. That's what I use for a measuring tool. I'm going to go two up on it. And then I'm also going to put another pool in there. No matter where, just anywhere, you just need it to be level or a little bit higher than the one that you're going to build off of, okay? Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to aim your, you're going to aim your um, cursor at this one, not at that one. But the reason being, let me show you, if you go to the roof, which is going to be this one here. If I try to position this, I need that brown piece on there. I can't go any further over. And I need to get it on just this one nudge. On that one knot right there. But since you can't do it aiming it at that, what you're going to do is you're going to aim at this one. And then get that rotated as closest to the pole. Okay, so this direction is going to be closest. I'm going to bring it down. I want on just that back piece. Just on one piece. I'm going to measure up. Okay, so I got it on just the one piece like that. Now, get rid of this thing here. Get rid of the measuring tool. Now we're going to complete it, snap it into place, and why is, oh, I'm short a couple of times, that's why, I, got, I know I got it right, <laughs> alright, let me grab a couple of vines real quick. Good. All right, come back over here. Ah, oh, no. Gotta get rid of this guy. All right. I'm messing up my video, dude. Come here. Oh no, don't tell me it's not him now. He's the last person I was going over here. Oh, I thought I was going. Alright, good enough. Okay, get back up here. Snap this last piece in. Okay, now you're gonna put a small floor on. A little square one, which is whatever one you want to use. I use this one. Okay. Now, go here. 
and find the top piece, which is somewhere around here. Does it have to? Oh. Oh, short one mahogany. Anyway, put that on there. You gotta put this little wood piece on, or it won't fit. It won't go on. So you put that little wood piece on, and you can set that. Okay. Now come down here. Now what you're gonna do is what I did is I used different walls. The reason why I use different walls is because if I had all the walls the same, and I had all my chests the way that you've seen on the other video are set up. I would spin it around, spin it around, spin it around, and then I would get lost on which chest was on what wall. I'd be chasing around looking everywhere. So I put different walls so I could determine which was what. So there's eight steps here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay. So I use different walls. All right. Uh, let's go with the yellow. All right, let's go with granite. Make sure it's flat walls too, by the way. It doesn't have any ridges or bumps or the top piece, the little nudges that's up on the top. So that you can put your chest on there. Like those little nudge pieces on the top of it, don't use those. Make sure it's completely flat. Alright, I'm going to use my piece ball on this one. Actually, I'll just use this one. I know those other two are the same. I'm just showing you what I did, how I set it up. Okay. And then to put your, okay, let's put a switch down real quick, a little booster on there, booster. Okay, that's your rotation. All right, now the way you do the chest, you guys should know this stuff already. It's a little trick. If not, this is how you do it. Point your cursor right at the tip, right at the tip of the switch and the wall to get it to go like that. Okay, make sure it's level, not overhanging. Make sure it's level to it. Right there, move it up. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of iron to do these. So, for example, I'm just going to use these. Actually, I'll just use these because I know I have enough wood. Just so I can show you. Okay. Now, the little ones are smaller, so you give it an extra step so you're right on the edge. As you can see, I'm right on the edge of it. Okay. And then if you just keep the cursor right there. All right. Where's the right? Right there. Now, move it up. This is really tricky. So to get the middle one right, go to its green, and then one more step for it to be dead center. Okay. Now my cursor is being blocked by that chest. I should do the top row first, or you just point it at the bottom of the chest, the chest foot right here. And then you position it from there. Like so. Okay. Make sure it's lined up. Like this one. Go to its green. One more step. Okay. Go to its green. So sensitive to doing this. One, one, two. Okay, and then for this one, just destroy that. Just 
switch. And put the other one on. And do the same thing with the inside. Alright. And then put thrusters on. For the turns. Okay. okay. So once you get the chest on on this side and the other side of the wall. Too heavy for just the one wall to push it. I need the other thrusters. Then you'll get the quicker rotation with it. I don't have all the all of my blast powder to put them all on. So yeah, you get your rotation with it. You should get them on each corner. And then you get your fast, faster rotation. So it ends up like mine. Come over here. To my little base. I can fly faster. Okay, this is the complete version. So I'll put granite here, granite slabs there, maybe marble here, marble slabs there. Put my obsidian with the blue wall, obsidian, obsidian slabs, so on and so forth. Now I never put like my wood in this, in my stacked up shelving. I always put wood separate. So I'll put like another shelf right on top of this, put more chests on that for wood, planks, wooden rods and I never put on here in those kind of shelvings my claws my shells my glass powder anything that can't convert I don't put in there so I'll put those like on their own I put them separate so like I'll put glass powder um, make this like shelves here couple shelves high to where it's like another stack up here and maybe a third shelf up so I got my claws my shells glass powder and so forth and I keep that separate from my wood wall so all this would be wood wooden rods planks and so forth so yeah guys this is 2 fly 56 and I'm out hope you guys enjoyed that once you get all of the um, thrusters on, you'll we'll get your quicker rotation. And that's my buddy Blaze's house. And I made a little button over here by my house. And we got our little helipad so when, when we fly over our stuff from the other bases to bring over here. And land it there, and just go straight down and load that up. But yeah, so it blazes in there trying to get stuff out of there and mess around with them. <laughs> Turn it on. Okay, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys can utilize that. It's a 2 fly 56, and I'm out.